Yo, this is the tunnel place. Pokemon Moon. We are on the vast Pony Canyon. We started the first half and we are really doing some fun stuff. We have to continue now because there's more trainers, more stuff to go through, and there's even more funny stuff after this. See here? This place is huge and there's trainers here. There's even some more Pokemon in here. Some of them even dug in the ground like this one. What comes up? A duck trail. Feel free to catch one if you need one, but if not, then this is a good target dummy for Hariyama. Because this Pokemon here is really weak. Not bubble. Pretty okay uh, ground attack, but not that good. So let's do one quick, quick break, Greg, and it's gonna go down. Got a Zygarde cube put in there. And a big root as well that came from this Pokemon we just fought. This is not repel. And we have this big rock we have to move. So go up here and turn into Machem Shove. And just push this rock down. Go pick up this item here. A full restore. Very useful item because it's as pretty much the same thing as a max potion, except the full restore will also restore your status effects. So it's basically a full restore. Let's push this rock from behind. This one. Then we can climb up the rope if we need to. Something else down here maybe. Outside at least. A dusk ball. One of my favorite poke balls actually because dusk balls work very nice at evening time. And since I'm playing Pokemon Moon, that means if I'm recording this at daytime, that means it'll be evening time in the game. And the opposite, of course, we play Pokemon Sun. Because then it's daytime as it is in your time. Let's go off the Matchum Show now and let's climb up these uh, ropes. Another trainer. Anywhere for the sake of research, just my idol, Professor Birch. Professor Birch was the professor in uh, Generation 3. Scientist Ikaika. And he has two Pokemon. The first one of these will be Muck. And this is an Alola Muck as well. Very important to notice. So, the regular Muck is a poison type. This one, dual type Dark. And poison. Which means the only real weakness it has is the ground types. But we can still deal some good damage without it though. Let's give it a brick break. Still damage is pretty good. Because the regular muck would actually be resistant uh, to fighting, but since it's an Alola muck, it no longer has that resistance to fighting, which means now Mahariyama can do really good damage to the muck. So we take it down. Who's next? Magnezone. Yeah, we just had our own Magnezone in the two episodes ago. Let's bring in our Marowak. Because Magnezone has a very big weakness. And that weakness is ground. Because Magnezone is dual type, steel and electric. Both the electric are weak to ground, so let the Bonomerang speak for you. Wow. Two hits and the Magnezone is down. That weakness to ground is just too much even for Magnezone to go against. And because of that Marowak is level 48, we're almost in the 50s. Primarina has 49, only one level away. Now let's learn Captivate. What is Captivate? If an enemy posing Pokemon is the positive gender of the user, Charm, which harshly lowers his special attack stat. Uh, it's a very niche move, so I don't want to learn it. Shagon is 40! Nice! The skills of Pokemon are needed when examining places here and there. So Shagon is 40 is very good, that means we are pretty much in the same level range as the rest of the Pokemon, which you can, you can start using in battles if you want to, but... Generally though, I will probably wait a bit. I'm gonna fire up, naturally! Sure. What do you have to show us, though? against Punk Anna. 
So it probably was a team school before she just doesn't look like them, but I guess she's not really well with them. She has a Dusk Ball with a Alolan Persian. So this is a Dark type. It was a normal type with its regular form, but this is a Lolan form with its pure dark type Pokemon. So it should go down with a single Brick Break. No nasty plot. Nasty plot is a move that increases special attack by two stages. Won't really help it though, because one Brick Break is enough to take it down. Unfortunate. Next up is another dark type, it's Hunchcrow, the evolved form of Murkrow. This is a dark flying dual type, so use some Pokemon you know are good against dark. But you can also use electric, which I will use. You can stick with Hariyama though, because Hunchcrow is not weak to fighting or resistant to fighting, but it does fine moves, so you don't want to use it in general, though, but you can still do it. So Hunchcrow came in generation 4, even though Hun Mon Murkrow was generation 2. It's one of these many evolutions that was introduced in the game. Discharge. That's a one hit KO on the Hunchcrow. Well played, Magnezone. Both these Pokemon had their evolutions introduced in Generation 4. Magnezone's 47. Getting pretty strong now. And two cannons 48 as well. Hariyama 47. And a win. I got fired up and lost. Naturally. Naturally, naturally. Okay, let's cross this bridge then. Who's this? For the photographer? What's she doing? Oh! That's a great composition! I could paint a picture of you. The visitor to Pony. Get to introduce myself though. I'm Mina. I'm the captain. I mean, I sort of am. I actually just wander around doing my art, so I don't have an actual trial or anything. The Vast Pony Canyon sure is a wonder, huh? Once you've been through this place, you can really get to understand why that Illima boy designed this trial the way he did, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, uh, here. Take this a token of her acquaintance. Oh, so she's a trial captain but doesn't have a trial. That's lame. Cool though, at least you meet the trial captain of this place. Um, Mina. Get her his very um, Z. He's a very um, Z. Get your Z on. And the captain also, I gotta come up with a trial. It could involve painting pictures and picking flowers. Maybe a trial like that could be cool. See you later, Anne. Alola, Alola. Yeah, that was a bit lame. But don't worry, guys, because if you do play Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, you will get to have her trial. So we'll play that game later on in the future. And then you can experience how Mina has put up her trial in. Uh, in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But regardless of that though, we do get ourselves a Ferium Z, another Z crystal. Without even fighting for it, so that's a uh, cool thing I guess. And you certainly want to use this one soon. I will explain next episode why you want to use it. But for now, let's just continue with more trainers. Let's have a party. A rough and tumble Pokemon party. Pokemon party? Um, okay. I'm gonna go up against Punk Guy Adam. He only has a single Pokemon, and that one will be Pangoro. Oh boy. So Pangoro, dual type, fighting and dark. Which is a bit funny, because that means he actually is weak to his own typing. Yep, he is weak to fighting himself. Because dark are weak to fighting, let's give him a close combat. As a present. Here he comes. As you can see, close combat is so powerful, but it will reduce your stats, but since there's no more Pokemon though, we don't get any stat reduction. Your attacks were effective, I felt them all the way to my heart. Guess you can say that. Okay, let's continue. Uh, we still have more trainers to go for, we'll go across this bridge here. There's more repels, we don't want to fight wild Pokemon here. I mean, you can if you want to, but I'd rather skip. You want to go through his vines, actually, because then you can get down here. Another way to go around this place, because this place do have a lot of shortcuts. Doing this fighting type trainer here. And a full heal. 
spoil is very useful in case you need to recover your status, but you don't really want to have to go through every item. Just have one item for all status effects. Much better. Go downstairs here. And then we go to here. And then... We are near the beginning. This is where we started in the beginning of the last episode. This is a bit of a shortcut, so now, in case you want to go back again, you can do that. And don't have to climb up all this, this place. Suck up in this uh, Zygarde cell here. So now you at least can fly off, you can go back to Pokemon Center or do other things and come back here if you want to. There's a few trainers here, and then there'll be some special event going on, but I'm not ready for this event yet. I'm gonna go and actually go and look for more stuff. Let's go up this vine here again, so I guess we, this was actually the path to go. Because this is the end of the trial, the end of the canyon. Is there really nothing else here? Okay, I guess I was wrong though. It's been a while since I've been in this part of the region. Okay. So let's go down here, collect the item, fight this trainer, and then you're ready go down here. And then you want to fight these two trainers standing ahead of you. Let's go fight them right now. Three of them, actually. We're aiming for the top, so be prepared for us to go all out. Sure, let's fight these three trainers then before we end this episode. First one of these will be Ace Trainer Hiroshi with two Pokemon. And the first one of these, what will it be? Absol! Absol from Generation 3 is a pure Dark-type Pokemon. Which is very good for Hariyama, because Hariyama, also Generation 3, doesn't mind fighting Absol. So, let's just go with the Brick Break. Should be enough. Detect from Absol, which means it'll be immune to any attacks. Doesn't really want bother us, so we just use Brick Break again. Sucker Punch. Priority Dark move, here comes Brick Break. That's a one hit KO on the Absol. Very, very nice. His second Pokemon, what will that be? Oh, Lapras. That's a cool Pokemon from Generation 1. Dual type water and ice. So, fighting types actually do really well here. As, as well, it does electric types. Sort of up to you what you want to use here. Hmm. I think I want to go with Magnezon. Just to uh, give the. Don't use the same Pokemon for everything. So let's bring in the Magnezone versus Lapras. So Lapras is a very heavy Pokemon. Sort of the fairy Pokemon, Gen Generation 1's Ice and Water Duel type. So it's with Electric, let's use Discharge. Here it comes. But Lapras is tanky though, so it will survive. Here comes the Brine. The water mode that does more damage if the health of the opponent is below half. Discharge, number two. This time Lapras will go down. Well played Magnezone. And this one we win. You guys are the tops. I felt the strength in your heart. How nice of you to say so. Alright, let's move on to the next trainer. Number two of three. The way you guys trust each other, I want to see it all. Do you really? Well, let me show you what I am made of. Against Veteran Heather. She has three Pokemon. That's one more than the other one. This is Stoutland. Oh yeah, we already have Stoutland as a Rider Pokemon, but this is going to be a fighting one. So Stoutland is a normal type Pokemon from Generation 5. It's pretty powerful. It knows a lot of moves that does recoil, so it can be a bit dangerous Pokemon to fight. Let's go with Brick Break on Stoutland. So let's quickly we'll use Retaliate. Cool looking move, but it does more damage if the opponent Pokemon has been KO'd. But it's the first Pokemon, so it doesn't do that much. We actually go faster than the, the Stoutland, actually. We get the second hit, and we take down the Stoutland. Very nice. Who's next? Yeah, Shellagon is 41. Next up will be Klefki. Ugh. Klefki. Not a fan of Klefki, but hey. You always had to fight it though. This is a dual type Steel and Fairy. So even though Steel are weak to fighting, it's not really useful to use Hariyama against it. But you can also use a Fire type. Fire is good here. 
because both steel and fairy type moves are resistant to fire types. Let's get in Marowak. Let's also use ground moves against Klefki if you want. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah. We can do the ground moves as well against Klefki because even though Klefki is sort of floating in the air, it doesn't have the uh, the ability to dodge ground moves. So that's a bit of a nice thing though. Stat wise though, the defense versus the defense is about the same. So using a. Uh, doesn't really matter which one you use. Flame charge, bone and are pretty good here. Let's go with flame charge. Clack with imprison. It means any moves that both Pokemon have will no longer be useful by us. Flame charge hits and speed goes up. Can we get another hit though before enough Klefki does anything? It will do magic room. Cle oh, that's kind of sad. Well, okay. So magic room is the ability that makes all held items no longer be used against anyone. So held items has no effects. Take down the Klefki, almost level up. Last one will be Zarina. Zarina is a grass type Pokemon Generation 7 exclusive, or an exclusive but introduced. So let's just stick with Marowak and get in here. With Marowak versus Zarina. So Zarina is a grass type, so you know what to do. Flying Pokemon do well as well as fire types. Let's go flame charge. Good flame charge there, but not even half those, so that's a bit lame. I guess we have to do it twice though. Leaf Storm! Powerful grass move, but doesn't do that much. It's still a very powerful move though, regardless, but as you can see, Serena's special attack is now going down by two stages, meaning the next Leaf Storm will deal a lot less damage. Ooh, that was close, but not enough. Serena will go on. Here comes the next Leaf Storm from Serena. You can see damage is even less. Special attack goes down by two more stages. He's now minus four and Leaf Storm. We disable Leaf Storm, but it doesn't really matter. But we'll take this one anyway, because now we have plus four speed. Here comes Flame Charge again, and that will be the end of Serena. Well played, Marowak, and this one is over. You're level 49. What's the Endeavor? Uh, not interested in Endeavor. Let's just keep the old moves. Minus zone's 48. And we win this one. Nicely done, I dig it. Pokemon trainers have trashed each other. Yeah, I guess you could say that. But we have one more battle to go before we end this episode, so we might go a bit over time here. Let's just recover Hariyama a bit. To do a little change in my party as well, because these ones will be a bit tough. Let's see. I want to do a little change here. Let's see. Did I have a steel type move in Magnezone? Didn't I? Yeah, I did a flash cannon. Okay, that's good. That means, minus zone, you will be stepping in now. I think it's time for you to shine a bit. Against this dash trainer here, this veteran. The altar is just a little farther, so I can't let you pass easily. Show me everything you got. So yes, the altar must be behind this guy then, so let's just beat him now and then go to the altar next episode. Veteran Eric with four Pokemon. So this is going to be a long fight. First one this is Gramble. This is Snubble's evolution form. This one was a normal type until generation 6. That's when it changed to fairy type. That's why it changed in Magnezone, because steel types are super effective against fairy. Flash cannon, here it comes. One hit KO, very nice. Good job there, Magnezone. Who's next? It's Golem. And this is a Alolan Golem, so it doesn't have the ground type, but it has rock and electric. So you can do it multiple ways. You can actually do it with ground moves, actually. It's, it's quite a bit weak to ground, but Mar but uh, Golem has a very high special defense. I mean, very high defense, so you might have to consider it. So instead, I'll go with Hariyama. Let's just bring in Hariyama instead versus the Alolan Golem. Which is dual type rock electric. Let's just use a brick break. Good damage there, but not enough though. 
Stealth Rock. This is a move I hate. Stealth Rock is a move that will deal damage to Pokemon switching in. And damage done is also basically considering what type of Pokemon you're using. Oh, Gengar. That's bad. Miss Brick Brick can't even hit it. We had to switch now because we can't do any damage to Gengar at all. So let's see, which one should we change in? Um, let's get in Primarina. Now watch Primarina itself now as we switch it in. I'll take a bit of damage. Dark Pulse. Not too very effective because Dark types doesn't really do much damage against Fairy types. But we have Psychic. Shadow Ball. This one will deal good damage. We do special defense as well, which means next level will deal even more damage. Here comes Psychic. On to Gengar. Doesn't care it though, but we can still fight. Shadow Ball number two. This might KO Primarina here. Oh, we survived barely. So close. Good for us. Gengar will not survive a second Psychic. It will go down. Primarina, level 50. First Pokemon in our 50s. Congratulations, Primarina. Hariyama's 48. And two cannon is 49. Now we'll be Golem again. Uh, let's just stick to Primarina then. Even though Electric is not very good to fight us, but we do have a water Pokemon in our arsenal. So let's just use that and use Sparkling Aria to finish off this Golem. Still weak to water as a rock type, that's why. So that's three down, we have one more Pokemon to fight. That one will be Cloyster. Generation 1, dual type, water and ice, just the same as Lapras, which means fighting Pokemon do well here, as well as electric types. Let's bring in Magnezone. Versus Cloyster. Take some damage from the Stealth Rock. Which is not that much though. Let's use Discharge on Cloyster. You're faster as well. Here it comes. That's a one hit KO on Cloyster. Wow. Power in display. Shellgun is 42. And also there's Scary Face. Scary Face is a move that reduces speed by two levels. But I'm not really a fan of it, so let's just uh, keep the old moves. Whoa, you got a lot. I have no choice but to admit defeat. How nice of you. But we are... yeah... We are done now. But I'm gonna show you guys a little cool stuff next episode, actually. Another TN that's hidden here and many people might miss in this game. A TN that certainly is gonna be very useful. But uh, don't worry, we'll get to it. So next episode, guys, we're going to go through across this gate. We're also going to do one more last thing here. And then we're going to go to the gate and see if we can find the altar. But you might actually see there's something else. Because this doesn't look like a bit of like a trial gate. So is there, is there actually a trial here then? I guess we have to wait and see. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on social media. That's a bit for now. I'll see you guys next time in my journey in Pokemon Valley. continues.